Hey, it's you. What's up? Yeah. So, you know, it's getting nice and cozy outside, I guess you would call it. At least we past the harvest mode. Where everybody goes out and takes all the great harvest in and has all kind of good stuff. And now we're going into the beaver moon. My birthday moon. So, you know, that's the last one. Right before the winter solstice. Where the snow comes down. And everybody gets cabin fever. So I'm feeling quite reminiscent. So I pulled out the old cast iron Dutch oven. Yeah. Oh, I made me some old school caramel with some apple strudel. Yeah, I like my caramel with a little bit of peanut butter in it. It gives it just a little nutty taste while I can't chew nuts no more. Well, needlessly, I won't be carrying that on my bike. If I go camping in my truck, I will carry it. I love my Dutch oven. So, but anyway, after everything's said and done, you know, I had I have to clean up. So, everybody knows me knows I hate doing dishes. So, after I washed my Dutch oven, I re-seasoned it because I hadn't re-seasoned it in a while. I thought maybe this time I'll show you how I wash my dishes while I'm out bike camping. You know, leave no trace and all the ways that I do it and all the tools I use. So that's what's up next. Yeah, baby. Hello and welcome. Enjoy. If you don't know, man, you're on the free show. Okay. okay, everybody knows I carry an extra bladder. Put water in it, just hang it. I normally keep a rope. That's what this rope's for. Tie it here, tie it to a tree, tie it to a tent pole, tie it to whatever. But fortunately, where I'm at, I don't have to do that. I can just set it up there like that. And then here we go. Ooh. Okay, I talked about these collapsible bowls. This one's actually made for a doggy bowl, which you can use it just like a plate or anything. It's so this isn't going to be my sink. Like I said, I got two of these. I was thinking the blue one was the one I carried, but when I got my pack, it's the white one I carried my blue ones for the dog. So, as you normally know, and I do have some dishes here to wash, drink. As you normally know, you boil some water. So, that is a second done. Now, I talked about cold soaking my stuff in my peanut butter jar. And this is good for all kind of stuff. You know, anything you can use for multiple, multiple things is good. Ooh, I thought I had that. Mm. Anyway, yeah, it's good. So I've put, you see, a little bit of soap that I've got in there with my spoons. I put it in my backpack. I don't like to take a shower every day or wash dishes every day. So what I'll do is I'll rinse the stuff out and then when I actually wash, I'll wash the sanitizer. So this is, as you can tell, really so what I'm going to use this for is gray water. And then after I'm done with it, I can sprinkle my gray water out and rinse it out real good. Well, there we go. I'll be blasting on it. Anyway, you can see there's a little bit of soap I've done. So what I normally do a little bit of soap and just like I said I just use them spoons because that's been like a week ago so I put them in there just to show you that it will hold now my water which like I said I normally put it out in the sun but it'll be about lukewarm this is this is about cold so what I'll do is I'll do just a little bit of water on one side and then normally this is where I take this little bit I'll rinse it out it's got coffee in it right now and I am cheating because I'm using a sink, but I can very well do everything I'm doing here, and I've done it in the woods before. But this will be where you boil your water. So I take this and I boil water. And I am cheating because I'm using a stove. Just a little bit of boiled water. Now, add my little bit of boiled water in there. That gets it, you know, kind of warm. 
Now, see my soap. And the soap I'm using is a biodegradable soap. I've actually made this soap myself. It is a biodegradable soap. But I just happen to have some in here, which works good. So I'll just put a little bit in there. Now, I reuse it for bags. Everybody goes, oh, don't use it for bags. I reuse them so much because a lot of times, just like my one cup right here, you can see it's got holes in the bottom. But I'll put a Ziploc bag, especially if I'm, you know, after I cold soak something or whatever, and I'll put it in here or put hot water in it and then put the Ziploc bag in here and let it, ooh, not this one, but that one. But you get what I'm saying. I'm kind of absent minded tonight. So anyway, I do reuse Ziploc bags. As you can tell, I still have some push in there. So, first thing we're going to do, I made apple strudel this morning, as you can tell. So, first thing I'm going to do. A little bit of this water in here. Let me make a little bit more. A little bit of that water in there. And this is the reason I like Ziploc bags. Because you take them and leave the air in them. And you just kind of smush them around a little bit. Right. And my scrubby pad is gone missing. I think my loving dog has carried it off because I left it sitting on the thing and for some reason he likes chewing on it. So anyway, the Ziploc bags are just taking like that. And you can kind of, you know, they're non-stick. Yeah, we'll put it that way. They're pretty much non-stick. But you can reuse them. So anyway, and then just because he took my scrubby, let's use a sponge. And this is normally like a scrubby, but I'm going to use my sponge because my dog, he had to eat my so what I'll do is I'll wash my spoons, wash whatever. And normally I don't carry two spoons, I carry my one. But since I'm doing this, I figured why not just do this. And you just do one side like that. Right. Wash that spoon. So, do one side like that. With the moon and everything going on, it is getting cold. So, you know, I would normally do this. Like I said, I don't like to do it every day. I like washing. You don't want to take a shower every day. And some people say don't carry a shower. You know, you'll be just nasty, just accept it. Well, it's always good to carry one. And this, I normally carry empty, so there ain't that much weight to it. I'm not one of the penny pinchers, as you call it. So anyway, then what I do, take my little hydro, hydro, that's me. And I'll rinse that off just like that. And then just set them, set them to the side. Somewhere they can, they can dry. You see, you just wash your dishes. Now, after you wash your dishes, like I said before, I like this because you can just use like a spigot. I mean, you literally can. And once you get used to it, it ain't, it ain't nothing but a thing. So, I did boil water in this, but just cause. And you know, most of the time, when you're out camping, the stuff's still hot. As soon as you get done with the food, that's when I like the Ziploc bag idea. As soon as you get done with the food, take it and get everything you can out. Go ahead while it's nice and hot. The sauce ain't stuck to it. It ain't, you know, it ain't whatever. I've already washed this one. It ain't whatever. Just go ahead and rinse it out with water. And nine times out of ten, you know what you're eating. You know how clean you're going to keep your spoon. It's not like you're, you know. I mean, the food's going to be cooked. The food's going to be this. The food's going to be that. So, just, you know. And what I'll do when I'm done here. That was a good, a good save this morning. Okay, so what I'll do when I'm done here, as I'll just, do, 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 and I'll rinse it out, keep rinsing, keep rinsing. I'm out of water, I didn't put much in there because I didn't want to waste water. But you'll just rinse it out, and then once you're done rinsing all that out, your little thingy here, put that back over here for a minute. Your little thingy here, you just take your water, very carefully 
you know. And these these bowls are awesome. And of course that's grey water. Yeah, I'm making a freaking mess, but I didn't spill too much. I didn't hurt too much. It's biodegradable soap anyway. And then you take your grey water. Grey water. See why they call it grey water down there. Right, and then of course you just rinse this out. Yeah, I know. I'm cheating. I'm just going to put it in the sink and the If I was in the woods, I wouldn't, but I would be worried about the time and everything else. I think my people will time and that's one of the good things. One of the awesome things about being in the woods. You can take your time, you can do whatever whatever you want to do. <laughs> there ain't no rush. That's, uh, you know, I smoked cigarettes for years, and I quit for a long time, but I would enjoy a good cigar every once in a while. Well, now I carry a pipe, an actual pipe tobacco with me. Now, see, I rinse that out. It's all nice and clean. Dry it out. And you can get a more fancy this. I just found these off Wish, right? Because I used to take my dog to the office with me. And I bought two of them. I always, if I can afford it, I buy two of everything in case when something breaks or I want to do one of the DIY projects and messes it up. But. And I never used this one, so I decided I was going to use it instead of buying one of the camp things. And it's just, you know, you can probably get them fits. I think I paid like two bucks for this and off wish. And I made it just that flat. And then once I'm done with that, and of course it goes inside my pack, or inside my saddlebag most of the time. Then you take the gray water, and of course you strain it through whatever you're going to strain it through. Normally, I'll dig a hole, and uh, I've got some cheesecloth. I'll run it through cheesecloth back into, you know, something else, and then I'll take this and spread it out just like, you know, leave no trace. That way, it don't kill the fish, or, you know, fish don't like so They have to, their water is our air, so, yeah. And it is gray water, as you can tell, but now my dishes are clean. Took me all a few minutes. Like I said, I don't like to do it every day, because a lot of times, I use this little booty right here to take a shower. So. Like and subscribe. And don't forget, hit that bell so you can tell when we are here. Now for some bonus footage. Yeah, while well, I'm putting everything up, and I've got my gray water empty, and i got everything else done, let me tell y'all how I make my soap. I'm very old school. My grandmother was, as she calls it, don't hit me up with much hate mail, a mean old engine. So she wastes not, won't not. As anybody knows me knows, I don't throw too much away. Whatever I don't use goes in a compost pile or whatever. It's not that I'm a green warrior, it's just the way I grew up. Okay? You know, Mother Earth, and you got a lover. We only got one of them. So, the, what I do, I don't waste not, want not. And what I do, I don't have it in here with me, but I have a little bag that I made. And it's nothing more than a Ziploc bag lined with Moex. It's actually a doubled up Ziploc bag, one gallon bag lined with Moex. When I'm out and about, you need why in order to make soap. Yes, even the soap you buy in a store uses some kind of lye or other chemical. Lye is a natural way to do it. And it is acidic, but it is what it is. And you got to wash stuff, as you can tell. So what I do is after, you know, a lot of times it ain't just camping on air. A lot of times I'll have an actual fire. I'll get some brush and I'll get this. And I do know the different kind of woods. So I'll try to get some of the harder woods. And after the night's over, after I'm packed up, you know, it says leave no trace, leave everything as you found it. Well, you know, you burn a log, you ain't exactly leaving it as you found it, it leaves ash. Well, the side effect of that ash from hardwood is you can make lye out of it. So what I'll do is I'll grab some ash, as much as I want to carry, depending on, you know, whatever the deal is. And if I'm out and about, I'll, you know, grab some, and I'll put it in a bag and I'll take it with me. When I get where I'm going, I use rainwater, mix it in with ash, and make lye. And then I can make my own soaps, and they're biodegradable, and, you know, saves not only money, but saves our earth, too. So, yeah. And, like I said, when I'm home, yeah, 
I cheated a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to make coffee. Empty cup. Water. And you can boil your water. You know, put it on your little fire or whatever. Just boil your water. You feel about a little over two cups. Just a hair bit over two cups. Now, as everybody knows, I carried my little handy dandy. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make coffee. I normally carry my cup in a Ziploc, but I'm here at the house, man. Don't expect me to follow all the rules. Uh, about three quarters, because what I'll do is I'll run run mine really, really, really strong. The three quarters, and you take our little handy dandy French press we made. You put it in there just enough to where it touches the water. Put the lid on it. You leave it setting for about 10 minutes, depending on how strong you want it. Push this little booger down, you drain it into a cup. That's your bonus footage, man.